Powers up the ball. Powers it up again. Gordon goes up. Good two. Two shot and Gordon. Anderson with a rebound. It's good. Caroline Anderson offers a rebound. Good evening and welcome to the Cushing Gymnasium at Wilmington High School for tonight's Middlesex League Freedom Division matchup between the Watertown Raiders and your Wilmington Wildcats. Tonight is senior night, so shortly after this intro, we'll bring you the celebration of four senior basketball players. The Raiders from Watertown come in with a 7-11 record overall and 3-11 in the Middlesex League. Watertown beat Burlington last Friday, 50-35. They are led by coach Patrick Ferdinand. The Wildcats come in with an 11-5 overall record, 9-5 in the Middlesex League Freedom Division. In the first meeting with Watertown, the Wildcats were victorious, 50-25. Wilmington is led by second-year coach Jessica Robinson. The Cats have clinched a Division II state tournament berth with a win over Wakefield on February 1st. Your Wildcats beat Stoneham, 53-45, last Friday in a Middlesex League matchup. We'll be back after this with our senior night ceremonies. Okay, welcome back to Wilmington High School's Cushing Gymnasium as we get ready to celebrate four basketball seniors for the Wildcat girls basketball team. As we celebrate our second senior night of the evening. Boys had theirs earlier today. It's a good celebration of uh, some girls who have put in a lot of effort to get to this point. So as athletic director Tim Alberts gets everybody ready to go, we'll line up the uh, students and parents and uh, get the uh, four girls ready to go. Gina Masterilli, Sarah Babcock, Gabby Bond, and Cassidy Collins. Again, the second to last, this is the penultimate game Second last game of the season for the Wildcats who come in with an 11-5 record heading to the Division I, Division II, excuse me, state championship tournament. Okay, we're gonna introduce the seniors from Watertown. You know, they don't really have that many. And now the moment you wait for four years in the making, the parents get to walk their player out. First to see will be number three, Sarah Babcock. And she'll bring her flowers over to her parents. Sarah is going to go to St. Joseph's College of Maine studying nursing. Our next senior. Gabby Bond, number 44. Who, uh, Going to be attending. Gabby will be attending UMass Amherst studying biology. Number five, Cassidy Collins. Number five will be Cassidy Collins. Cassidy is still undecided at college choice. Stonehill and uh, University of New Hampshire are it. Peter Masterilli, number 33. Yes. Okay. 
Gene is decided between Clemson University, South Carolina, and UMass Amherst. So our four seniors celebrated tonight here on Senior Night. Gina Masterilli, Sarah Babcock, Gabby Bond, and Cassidy Collins. 2019 seniors, and uh, congratulations to them, and we'll be back with the opening tip-off right after this. WCTV's coverage of Wildcats sports this winter season is sponsored by Analog Devices, proudly supporting the Wilmington community for over 40 years. Welcome back to the Cushing Gymnasium here at Wilmington High School for our evening matchup between the Wilmington Wildcats and the Watertown Raiders. Wildcats coming in already qualify for the state tournament. The Raiders are a sub 500 team. Wildcats did win the prior outing. Starting for the Wildcats tonight, number two, Jenna Tavanese, number three, Sarah Babcock, number five, Cassidy Collins, number 33, Gina Masterilli, and number 44, Gabby Bond for the um, visiting Raiders. Number two, D'Amico, number three, Castusis, number 13, Ortiz, 21, Williams, 53, Lambeau, tap is won by the Raiders, and the Wildcats will start in man to man. See that the uh, three-point shot is short. Rebounded by Collins. Babcock, excuse me. Feeds it to Tavanese. Tavanese look to set the offense up. So like I said, the four seniors are out on the floor. Ball is knocked out of bounds. Easy early turnover. Master really tried to get it to uh, Sarah Babcock and Fumble that ball out of bounds. Let's see what we can do. Tavanese is going to pick up half court in the man. So a nice gesture by Coach Robinson to get her four seniors out in the starting lineup. Phew, shot is missed. Rebound is picked up by Watertown's number two, D'Amico, Leah D'Amico. Slow start to the game. Good suffocating defense by the Wildcats. Six seconds left of the shot clock. I don't know if they realize that. Three point shot is up and good. 12, Ortiz with the bucket. Wilmington will try to set up their offense late in the shot clock, hits the three. Ortiz, Tabanese will bring the ball up court. Finds Cassidy Collins. Bond down to low and misses the shot, Gabby Bond. And Wilmington will look to press a little bit. 6.36 to play, three nothing Raiders lead early first quarter. Get the ball across half court. And slowing their offense down immensely. Much different than the boys game earlier today. Ortiz will get called for the travel. And turn the ball back over the Wildcats as the uh, senior laden lineup will try to score here. Get the game close. Collins will inbound. Tavanese will bring the ball up. Jackson to Master Ellie in the quarter. Trying to get the ball down low to Gabby Bond at the free throw line. Nice play. Kicks it back out. Rush for the ball. Ortiz picks it up. So we'll settle up on their offense. Wilmington's not got a shot at the basket. Turn the ball over in two offensive possessions. Costusis in low to 50. They're going to call a foul. It'll be an and one opportunity. That foul will be on Gabriel Masseretti. Bucket goes to uh, Taylor Limbo. And uh, substitutions here as Babcock and Collins are replaced by Ducharme and Almeida. So out on the floor for the Wildcats, you had Tavanese, Ducharme, Almeida, Bond, and Masterilli. The free throw is up and it's long, rebounded by Almeida. Almeida looked to push. Back to the regular starting unit here as Coach Robinson got his seniors their playing time. Oof, go away a little bit of the travel there. Tavanese wide open for the three ball, that ball is long. Ball goes into the corner, it's out of bounds. Ball will turn over to um, Watertown. The Wildcats are going to try to settle into their offense as well as their defense. They'll come full court pressure here. Full court man to man to try to get to turn them over. Effective as it speeds them up and actually going to slow them down. They just get the ball across half court. 18 seconds left, shot clock. Because again, they get them to run clock and they have to get in their offense a little bit quicker than they would want. Two is D'Amico. Long three-pointers. Rebound by Waterton, who misses the shot. 21 being uh, Williams, their captain. And Ducharme will push. 
Out to Tavani's. Tavani's dribble penetration. It's got somebody open. That's Almeida. Her three pointer is going to be way short. It's going to be saved inbounds. Stepped out of bounds by uh, Gabby Bond. And we'll be off to a sluggish start here, first quarter. 4.58 to play. Wildcats trail 5 to nothing. Again, they'll pick up pressure full court. Two is D'Amico, three is Kustis, 21 is Ortiz. Ortiz gonna try to break drill by herself. Trap at the corner. They break press. That's a carry. Again, an unforced turnover there on uh, Lembo, but a, a good defense to make her pick up the ball and put it back down. Tavani's gonna try to set up the offense. Yeah, they are in a one, Tough to read the zone, looks like a 1-2-1, one, 2-2. Two, one. Two, two. Rebounded by a, up and, Gabby Bond with a good rebound, puts the shot up and it gets fouled. And she'll go to the line shooting two. 4.30 to play, 5-0 Raiders lead. Again, get the ball, go down low to Gabby Bond and she gets the shot up, gets fouled and it's not getting to go but she'll shoot two free throws. Wilmington looking to get off the schneid here in this ball game tonight. First shot from the rim, missed. On the main shot, even with the miss shot, I think they're gonna pick up full court. Try to trap as they go to sideline or in the corner. Bond's second shot is no good as well. Dushon forces the ball. Again, they're playing a good, good, solid, make them force the ball of half court defense there. 21 is Williams, shots missed. That'll be taken away by Almeida. Two, two good defensive plays by Almeida. Took that away from D'Amico. Tavanese will bring the ball up. Four minutes to play. Wildcats have not scored halfway through this first quarter. They'll try to get settled and set up. Ducharme on the right wing. Left wing, excuse me. Almeida dribble penetration gets open. Finds Bond. Bond can't get the shot off. And a sluggish, very sluggish start here first quarter. Wildcat. At times, they tend to get off to sluggish starts. Pick it up later quarters. Dribble penetration, kick out for the three ball. That ball is good. 21 Ortiz, the 21 Williams, the second three ball, eight to nothing. The Raiders lead, Wildcats. 3.30 to play here in the first quarter. Tavanese will fire the three ball, that is good. Jenna Tavanese, the um, three point shooting specialist for the Wildcats. Cuts the lead, eight to three, first points for the Wildcats. Three play the full court pressure. That's ball hits out of bounds line. That'll be a turnover. Good, good step up pressure. Full court. First turnover on that press. Tamanese finds Almeida. Gabby Bond out on the right side. Let's the ball go through her hands, picks it back up. Throws it down on to Kylie Dushram. Out to Tamanese, wide open for the three ball. That's short. Fights for the rebound, Almeida saves it back in. Ducharme's got it. Oh, nice look. Gabby Bond and fouled. Kylie Ducharme turns around, finds Gabby Bond, down low, she gets fouled, makes the back of an and one. Wolverine's offense kept alive with the offensive rebounding. Bond with the free throw, 249 to play. Shot is up and missed. Fighting for the rebound, they're gonna call that foul. And no, they're gonna call a jump ball. Ducharme with the hustle there. Forcing the jump ball. Substitution, Anna Wingate is going to replace Gabby Bond as Wildcats go to a little smaller and quicker to try to turn over here. Defensively, offensively, they'll get the possession arrow facing them. Tabanese out deep. Too many guys, same spot. Almeida's long three is no good. It's gonna be rebound by Tabanese. He saw that rebound right off the shot. Masterelli finds Ducharme, they're gonna call Ducharme, that's not Ducharme, I'm sorry, finds Wingate, Wingate will travel. They'll turn the ball over. Eight to five, 234 to play, first quarter. Like I said, Wildcats, a little bit sluggish on offense. And Jenna Sweeney replaces Masterelli, so really, it's really going small and quick here. Try to turn them over on the, on, on, in the half court, in the full court press. Trap gonna come here, they'll try to throw it over top of the trap. Williams is a pretty good player, their captain, gets the ball. 
into their offensive zone. Ortiz with a three-point bomb is good. So they've made three three-pointers for 11 of their points. 11 to five, 2-12 to play, first quarter. Broke the press, have hit the three. Almeida. Sweeney. Again, the horizontal penetration is not helping. Almeida's three ball is good. Squared up the feet, makes the shot. Nice offensive play. The press on again here, full court. Tipped away, stolen by Sweeney. Finds Tavani's layup is up and good. Wildcats cut the lead, 11 to 10. Pressure is really now, again, you're gonna try to not only speed them up, now we're just trying to turn them over. Tavani's very active defensively. Nowhere to go, kick ball, that'll reset. Out of bounds. 20 seconds, shot clock, 127 to play. Wildcats trail the, pay the Raiders, 11 to 10. Press is now starting to pay dividends for the Cats. Now they'll try to trip. Nice, that's the break of the press there. She double dribbled there, though. Broke the press, but Katusa's double dribbles will have a substitute. 15, Monahan will replace Castusa. No, no, replace uh, D'Amico. So back on offense, Wildcats. That's reset. We've got Almeida, Tavani, Sweeney, Ducharme, and Wingate. In the off offensively, again, it's small and quick, trying to turn them over. See if they can, well, they found Ducharme. A little bit long. Good idea, trying to throw over top of the defense. Apparently, Ducharme, oh, hits the cutter. Almeida's shot is wild. Tipped around, rebounded by uh, Watertown. Not a bad play, though. Stolen by Tavani. She'll go right into the basket, lay it up and in. Good anticipation by uh, Jenna Tavani to make that steal. Turnover, prediction, hoop, points. 46 seconds to play, Wildcats lead 12 to 11. I've withstood the three, three point onslaught by the uh, Raiders here in the first quarter. Ortiz finds Williams. Williams almost gets the ball stripped by Tavanese. And that'll be a foul. They're gonna call foul down on the floor. Tough foul, 32 seconds left on the clock. That'll reset the shot clock. There was 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Foul on 21, Almeida. Ball out of bounds under their own basket, Watertown. That'll be a three ball, and that'll be long. Up over the back, Tavanese doesn't get the rebound. Tough rebound to not get there. They're gonna call travel. Lambdo call for the travel. 23 seconds left here in the first quarter. Wildcats with a 12-11 lead. See what kind of offense they try to set up. Hold for last shot, possession arrow facing Watertown. Tavanese brings ball up half court. She'll set the offense. Oh, Sweeney. Finds Tabanese, her three is long. Off front rim, four seconds to play here in the quarter. See if they throw up a shot. This shot will not count. Not aware of the clock. Watertown runs out the clock there at the end of the quarter. At the end of one, Wildcats lead the Raiders 12 to 11. We'll be back after this. They said I have troll teeth. That my voice sounded like a possessed baby doll. That no one would ever love someone as stupid as me. That I was fat. Ugly. Disgusting. The effect of bullying is potent. We will no longer be the silent majority. Now, when you see online bullying, there's something you can do about it. We're gonna take action with the eye. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness. I am a witness, and so are you. Okay, we're back, second quarter action. Eight minutes, a full eight minutes of second quarter action. Wildcats will take the, take the floor with a 12 to 11 lead. Possession arrow is facing, is pointing the Watertown way, so they'll start on an offense. Resetting for the Wildcats, uh, Almeida, Tavanese, Ducharme, Sweeney, and Woodgate. And for uh, Watertown, Custis, Ortiz, Williams, Monahan and Lambo. Okay, see what they can do. They also three three pointers big in that quarter for Watertown. I don't expect that to to, to last. It kept them in the ball game. They'll just try to again patience. Another walking turnover. That's like the second straight offensive possession where the the Watertown um, player turned it over on a walk. Again, Watertown will not press. Tavanese will get the ball, and bring it up court. Tavanese is a junior. So all underclassmen out in the court right now for the Cats. 
Tabanese gets the lane, throws up a runner. Probably not at the most advised shot in the world there. And they'll drop back, make the press. Wilmington will have to play some defense. Wildcats with the play, man. They let that girl, that, that's too easy a penetration there. Lembo with the shot is missed. Underneath, she shoots, it's blocked. Ducharme saves it inbounds to Wingate. Wingate finds Cavanies a one on four. She'll bring it back out, reset the offense. Sweeney will drive lane, slowly stops, pops, shoots, misses. Ducharme fighting underneath for the rebound, does not get it. Again, havoc on offense and defense. 12 to 11, as we were at the start of the quarter. 6.44 to play. That shot is missed by Monahan, rebounded on the weak side by Watertown, and they'll reset their offense. Ortiz steps by. Custos, Monahan. Nice play by Ducharm. Steps in and anticipates the pass. She'll find Tavanese and will run our offense. Again, one on four, two on four, back on offense. Ducharm open for the three ball. That's good. Oh, nice shot in rhythm. Cavities finds Kylie Ducharm in rhythm. Wilmington takes the 15-11 lead. 6-11 to play. Second quarter. Again, the press would wear out. Then that should be, oh, close. Almost back court, but she did get to keep the ball front court. Watertown's got their big way out deep. Oh, Wingate lets her go through it. She easily scored. Mistake there on defense by somebody. Somebody missed their assignment. 15-13. Again, if you watch that on replay, that was Wingate let her go to whoever she thought she was going to be picked up behind and did not help. And then she got to go for a walk there. Almeida, Olivia Almeida a little bit quick with her feet before she puts the ball down. Substitute for the Wildcats. Cassidy Collins and Alyssa Morrison are in. Again, small and quick, trying to turn them over on defense. They had the trap, beat the trap with the pass. Monahan tries to penetrate and goes nowhere. They'll feed it back around, set their offense. Another travel or double dribble. Turnover fest here so far, second quarter. 15-13, Wildcats lead. Not a lot of offense, a lot of turnovers. Let's see if Wildcats can generate offense here. Work the ball around, find a good look. Tamanese are trying to seal off. Dushram trying to get a seal there. That'll be a call on Williams. Actually, that's what they're going to try to do now is to get Kylie Dushram down on it. was on the high block trying to seal her off so she can catch the ball, turn and go in for the layup. Timeout's going to be called by Coach Robinson. 5 12 to play here. Second quarter, Wildcats 15, Raiders 13. A little bit of a sloppy quarter here. Turnovers both sides, walks, double dribbles. Throwing the ball away, not getting good looks. See what uh, coach has up her sleeve here to implement. Like I said, the Wildcats had, uh, have made the tournament 11 and 5. So this is their 17th game. Play Melrose on Friday, and then they're in the tournament next week. And by the uh, beginning of the week after the beginning of the week after school vacation week, we will find out where they are going to play in the tournament. Both boys and girls programs have made the tournament. The girls play Division Two. The boys play Division One. And as we come back onto the floor, we'll try to uh, get you a reset on who we have on the floor for the Wildcats. I do know talking to the coach beforehand, the uh, Watertown coach, and he runs about. Uh, eight girls is basic rotation. So let's see, for the Cats, it'll be Collins and Morrison along with um, Ducharme, Tavanese, and Sweeney. Is that 14? Sweeney, yep. And Collins inbounds, Ducharme. Ducharme's going to try. There you go. Nice call, and she gets fouled. Sealed her off. Use her height. Use her strength. Have her go straight to the hole if she can. I don't know if they're going to be able to defense that if the Wildcats can work that into their offense. So Kylie Dushan fouled on this shot, goes to the freezer line, shooting two, 5.09 to play. It looks like on that offensive position, they made a concentrated effort to get Dushan the ball and try to use her size and strength down low. See what kind of change the um, coach for Watertown decides, tries to do here. 
Ducharme's second free throw, trying to extend the lead to three for the Wildcats. Free throw is long, it's right back rim. Goes Shaughnessy. Gampton. They'll swing the ball. Three, three substitutes in right now for Watertown. So they're, they're going eight deep. Wildcats have gone about 10 deep almost tonight. Sweeney on ball, gets beat by the crossover. Ducharme is right in the middle of the stop. Lambda shot is lost, missed, rebound Ducharme. Ducharme's gonna push. See she doesn't have numbers, wisely pulls it out. Down low, shot is short for Collins. Rebounded up and missed, and Watertown looked to run, try to avoid the press. Got away with a little bit of a walk there too, got that ball caught up in her leg. Watertown reset. Three is Gustus, she dribbles the ball away. Again, that ball is gonna be, they're gonna call a pushing foul there on Tavanese because she went down and got stuck between the two players. Again, a very sloppy half here. Second quarter, Wildcats 15, Raiders 13, 4, 16 to play. 15 is Monahan. Zero is Gamptian. Four is Shaughnessy. And they'll feed it out to 53, which is Lembo. She'll almost turn the ball over again. Very sloppy play right now. Morton kicking out to 11 seconds on the shot clock. Three is Gustus. Keep your feet. Good defensive play there by Morrison. Stolen by Ducharme. She's got Tavanese up. Easy layup coming up. Jenna Tavanese. Good look up. Ducharme picks the seal off. Finds Tavanese for the bucket. 17-13. Again, Tavani's running all the way. Ducharme got the head up, got the pass, the assist, the bucket. Trap here right below me. They're going to throw that ball across the court. They'll go out of bounds, Wilmington ball, turnover on the bad pass. Three substitutes coming in here for the Wildcats. Bond Masterelli and Olivia Alameda. Staying on the court will be Tavani's and Ducharme, the regular starting lineup out there right now. Bond is found. Tavanese will run the offense. And now they got big size. Oh, nice look for Bond. Up and misses the bunny. Gabby Bond gets her own rebound. That'll be a jump ball. They're going to call double dribble. Looks like a jump ball. Again, that, that layup is there. The size will help. Might not help with the trap and the speed, but they are getting a lot of good looks down low. 3.20 to play. 17-13. Cats are leading. Ducharme slips. They'll trap there. Let's pass it backwards across. Ortiz got trapped right there, good trap. Again, they're gonna really speed them up here. They finally get to break the press. And they break the press, it's 15 seconds on the shot clock. So they're gonna have to set their offense up quick. Good defense by the Wildcats. But Ducharme up top, du 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 Kylie Ducharme up top here is really causing them havoc. Three seconds left on the shot clock. Two, one, that shot will count if it's good. It's no good off rim. Ducharme rebounds, she'll look to push. Wildcats look to set up their offense. Get it down low to Bond. Bond shot is missed. They're gonna fight there. They're gonna call Ducharme on the floor. Not a good foul. 90 feet from the other basket. Don't wanna make that foul. Again, making concentrated effort to get Gabby Bond. The law ball down low block. She struggled with that little layup. See where they trap here and if they trap. 234 to play, four point Wildcat lead. Picks up with the dribble. Not what you wanna do against the trap. They're gonna try to throw over the triple, right into the middle, nice play. That'll be a two if it's good, it's no good. Rebounded by Almeida, Almeida fights the ball away and she'll bring it up on her own. Okay, she'll get it to Tabanis. Wilmington look to get off the schneid here offensively. Put a couple buckets in a row, put some distance. Bond on the queen. Level 10 footer is good. Struggle with the little layup. Gabby Bond with a nice little 10 footer. 19 13, Wildcats up by six. Good run of the offense. Tavanese drives the lane, dishes out to the wing, about an 8 10 foot for Gabby Bond. Back on defense. That shot is up and good. 15 Monahan taking the last two shots. She sinks that one. 143 to play. 19 15, Cats lead. Tavanese will dribble, penetrate, and she'll get fouled. Oh, I don't think the bench liked that call too much, but she didn't get armed. That foul will be on the floor. Give me a clock reset here. T fouls, four for the Wildcats, five for the Raiders. Nobody in the, in the, in the foul trouble yet. 
Bond in the corner, hands it off to Almeida, back to Tabany, she'll throw up a three ball, that'll be long. Rebounded by Monahan, ooh, that's gonna be a foul on Masterilli. Tough foul call, just got caught with her feet down underneath her. Substitute Robin, Coach Robinson gonna bring Wingate in. Wingate will replace Master Masterilli. And that was her second foul, so taking her out to not to avoid, especially with one minute 30 to play here. That was a tough little dribble penetration. It looked like she walked here before she passed that. Ortiz with a long three off the glass, no good. That's going to be a race for the ball. Duchar wins the race, she dribbles it out of bounds. Nice hustle, though. Good hustle. Side out in front of the while uh, the Raider bench by a. Uh, Watertown, and again, Wilmington looks to trap. They've sort of gotten the use to this because they've got the big guy, the big, the big person, their center, not the big person, at the free throw line, at the free at half court to break trap. But they got to start making shots. This game will get out of hand if Wilmington can score. That'll be a foul. Tavani's again, of offensive aggression. What we like to see, take the ball right to the hole. She'll go to line with two. Okay, just to reset on, on defensively, they've, they've put 53 Limbo, who is their center, right at half court. And they're thrown up over the trap to there. Tabanese with two free throws here, 55 seconds to play. First is no good. Well, got some missed there, numbers of three free throws here, or this lead would be bigger. Five will be uh, Cassidy Collins to replace Gabby Bond. Jenna Tavanese's second free throw. Make the free throw, set up the press. Free throw is good, 20 to 15, five point Wildcat lead. 55 seconds left, set the press up, make them work. Now there, that was just good, good ball play by uh, Ducharme who fought off the big Cassidy Collins down low to Wingate who could, underneath gets her own forward. Swings it back out, Collins. Almeida for the three ball, it's good. The extra pass, Collins with the assist, the extra pass. Sets up Olivia Almeida for the three, 23-15, 35 seconds left, actually 30 seconds left. Got a two second differential, shot clock, game clock. Ducharme here at the top of the uh, press has really wreaked havoc on Watertown. They, they beat press, got a three on two. Puts the ball down, they're gonna call her for a walk. Again, if she had caught that ball and going right to the hole it would work, but the press speeds the game up once they break it. Travel, it's probably about the fourth or fifth travel. Tammany is bringing in 18 seconds to play in the quarter. Wildcats lead 23-15. Should go into the half, no, lower, no less than an eight point lead. Tammany dribbles, she'll shoot to three with eight seconds on the clock. That'll be long, off the back. Turned ball back over. Watertown on five seconds, try to get a shot off. If they don't, we're gonna end the half at 23-15. Again, Ducharme causing havoc is at the top of the pill. Nothing's gonna, oh, gotta shoot. Tavanis with the steal, shot is no good. What a counter. As we end the first half, Wildcats with eight point lead, 23 to 15. We'll be back with analysis of that first half, half right after this. WCTV's coverage of Wildcats sports this winter season is sponsored by Analog Devices, proudly supporting the Wilmington community for over 40 years. Welcome back, second half action, Wilmington Wildcats. Watertown Raiders, we come back here to the Cushing Gymnasium. Jessica Robinson's Wildcats <laughs> lead Watertown 23 to 15. And uh, the press had done a lot of work turning the uh, ball over with, the, with Watertown. Just need to get, make some of the more easy baskets, try to extend this lead a little bit. And uh, we'll start the second half with the possession arrow pointing to the Wildcats. And a quick, quick, real quick check. It looks like the starting unit's back out there for Watertown, which is two D'Amico, three Castusas, 12 Ortiz, 21 Williams, 53 Lembo. For the Wildcats, Tavides, Almeida, Ducharme, Bond, and Masterilli. So Tavides running the point, playing every minute of this game so far. Ducharme. Looks like, looks like Watertown's gonna get a little more aggressive here. 
as they got Ducharme underneath. Kicks it back out. Bond finds Tavani. She's open from the three ball. That'll be, ooh, that looked true from here. Just missed. Rebounded by Robinson. She'll find Bustos and Watertown with just Tavani's pressing on the missed basket. will try to set their offense. D'Amico. Dribble penalty. They're going to call a foul there on Almeida for a push. Like I said, first half for uh, the Raiders, they made three three-pointers and have six points other than those three shots. So Wilmington's defense has been really strong. And they'll swing it back out. Ortiz, who made one of the threes. I think Ortiz made two of the threes. Shot clock at 20. They reset on the foul. D'Amico finds Williams. Step into the two shot. It's no good. Rebounded by... Almeida and Tabanese will bring us back up the floor. She had Mastrelli open for a half a second there. She'll drive the lane, finds Gabby Bond. Easy layup is good. Dribble penetration opens up the opportunity. Gabby Bond, great catch and score, 25-15. Wildcats with a 10-point lead, going to double digits. A little slow on the pickup there, and Watertown breaks press, sets their offense. Lembo with the cut, the bump. Good defense there by Mastrilli, but she gets her own rebound. She gets the rebound, that ball's on the floor, that's gonna be a jump ball. Possession arrow will be um, Watertown. Gina Mastrilli made a really good defensive play to absorb the contact and force the bad shot. Rebound batted around and three balls long, rebounded by Almeida. Weak side rebound, always gonna be the other three. There's Gabby Bond running the floor, layup is good. Tavanese with a great look. Gabby Bond, four consecutive points. Wildcats open lead to 12. Now they'll put the press on the made basket and try to, excuse me, try to force turnover by Watertown. Picks up her dribble, she can hold for the travel. Watertown having a lot of trouble after the made basket. After the made basket, Watertown a major trouble breaking press. Timeout on the floor. Not sure if that was Watertown. I'm assuming Watertown must have called that timeout. Just to reset, 6.04 to play here, second, third quarter of the second half. Wildcats with a 27 to 15 lead. Scored the first four points of the quarter, all scored by number 44, Gabby Bond, all in the system. Jenna Tavanes as they were running the floor the second time. Long pass. Bond open, made her lap. Second time, dribble penetration. Bond's. Defender drops off and she's open. Tavanis finds her. She makes the layup. So layup on the right side, layup on the left side. Good, good start for the second, third quarter by Gabby Bond. Let's see what um, Coach Ferdinand does with Watertown. Watertown does come into the game at seven and eleven, so they have struggled a little bit during the year. Three and eleven for the, uh, I think in the league as well. Wilmington's ball, side out of bounds, right here at half court, right below us. Below my camera and my scoreboard operator, Paul and Chris. Have an easel drive. Oh, she's a good tall, that's a big walk. She knew it right away. Thought she had an open lane there for a pass. And uh, it closed quick, and that back foot drug, and we got the travel call. Six minutes to play. Press again, Dushram up at the top with her length. Wreaks some havoc. They get the ball in the corner, Bond steals it. They find the guard, trap point guard Tavanese, and they'll run offense once again. So Ortiz will pick Tavanese up here half court. And they're in a, in a nice screen by Gabby Bond there. Bad pass, Tavanese with a lazy pass. They're gonna call that a jump ball. That'll be possession arrow, Wilmington. Side out of bounds in front of the Wildcat bench. Not a good pass there. Tavanis with a little lazy pass out. She'll find Bond. Bond will get it back to the point guard. They're trying to seal. They're fronting Duchamp. Bond is open. The shot is missed, but she is fouled by 14. For, on the, for our friends from Watertown, 529 to play. 27-15 Wildcats lead. Holding scoreless, the Raiders. Bond shot is missed. And one of the uh, tough parts of tonight's game is the missed free throw. Something I'll have to look at 
Look at Phil with this game. They're going to fret the uh, missed free throws, which Sleep could probably be 15, 16 points if they made their free throws. Second shot for Bond is off side of the rim and no good. Tapped around. Masterelli almost got it. We're going to have a jump ball possession arrow. We're going to go to our friends from Watertown. The Rangers will inbound the ball below us here. Fourteen in the game, Zoen for uh, Again, they'll try to break press. Throw to the middle. Dribble it backwards, not where you want to go. Get the ball across half court and try to stop their offense. Drives out of control. Probably thought she was fouled. That was number zero, Sophia Gampion. There's Bond down low. Lab is good. Gabby Bond, six points in the quarter. They're finding her down low. She's making those laps. Tapped away, thrown back. That'll be just Watertown completely discombobulated here with those pressed by the um, Wildcats. And they do get it past half court. Zero tries again to, to make something happen. It doesn't work. Ball's being batted around. Ducharme will settle. She's got Bond down low. Bond's got Tavani's wide open. Layup is good. Get eight points in the quarter, all eight points in the paint, all easy layups. Nice, nice, nice pickup by Gabby Bond on the wild pass. Finds Tavanese for the bucket. 31-15, Wildcats extend the lead to 16 points. And their full court pressure has really wreaked havoc here, third quarter. Watertown going to try to settle it down. Finds ball in the corner. They've tried to dribble penetrate, it hasn't worked. Six seconds on the shot clock. They're going to have to shoot here. Shot from the court will be good if it counts. No, off the back. That should have been. It was a bad call. That hit the stanchion. That should have been play out of bounds. Going to be a push here on um, defensively as Masterelli had good position. That ball hit front rim and it looked like it hit the three point clock or the uh, stanchion there, which put it out of play. Missed by the refs. No harm, no foul. Wildcats will inbound. Sweeney in the game. So we have Sweeney, Tavanese, Ducharme, Bond, and Masterelli. Olivia Alameda taking a breather. Again, uh, Watertown again sits way deep back. Way back in their um, defense. Tavanese penetrates the middle. Finds Gabby Bond. Spin move. That's a rush shot. There's probably just a shot that Lambdo had good position on her, causing uh, Tavanese to pick up a foul. I don't know if that's her second or third. We'll see in a minute. Andrew Wingate's in the game, replacing Gabby Bond. That was the second foul on Tavanese. I thought Gabby uh, Bond tried to force that shot a little bit more than she needed to. It could have swung back out, set, reset. 31-15, Wildcats lead, 3.38 to play first, second half. Fourth, third quarter, excuse me. Trap, ooh. They do bring it across half court, but again, that's gonna be a foul. Oh, they're gonna call a walk on that. And uh, Wingate got away with a little bit of a push there. With 14 Zoen. But ref didn't see it the way we did here. Wilmington's basketball. Tavani is bringing the ball across half court. Trying to get to Ducharme in the big box. She turns and spins and is fouled. She'll go to the line for two. Kylie Ducharme seals her off on the high block. Turns, gets fouled as she attempts the shot. We'll shoot two. 3 12 to play. Team foul number three on the Raiders. Shows first free throw is good. <laughs> Extends the lead, 17 points. Collins, Cassidy Collins replaces Messerilli. A little bit quicker and smaller here for the Wildcats with the press. That ball go in and out of the rebound. On the free throw, rebounded by Watertown. And they'll bring the ball up, try to set up some kind of offense. 15 shot is long. Short. Rebounded by Sweeney. Sweeney will look to push. Does not have numbers. So she'll set up. Try to find the point guard here. Tavanese will reset the offense. Cassidy Collins a nice play. And the ball is tipped out of bounds. Cassidy Collins had a good look at the basket. Cutting. Gets the ball. Just missed the shot. Too strong with the offensive rebound. Knocked out of bounds. Watertown. Women can bend the ball into their own basket. Ducharme 
Nice move. She gets fouled, that'll be an and one. Kushar fakes the pass, goes left-handed, drives baseline, gets fouled. She'll get the bucket, and she'll shoot a free throw. 34-15, Wildcats a chance to put this to a 20-point lead. Ducharme at the line. Wartown struggling to score here, 2.44 to play. Shot is up and missed, and struggling to score is a misnomer. They have not scored at all here in the half. Wilmington's defense tightened up, giving them nothing in the half court. That'll be a foul on Tavanese. That'll be Tavanese's third foul. So the point guard foul trouble, but you are up by uh, 19 points. She's gonna, Coach Robinson will bring in Allison, uh, Alyssa Morrison to replace Tavani. He's gonna have to sit with the three fouls. 232, probably sit to at least the fourth period, fourth quarter. Trying to get a half court set that'll work. Waterton goes down low, a oh, nice move. And she's fouled. Going to the line, that was actually a really good move by um, Taylor Lembo. With a foul call on the floor. Watertown will inbound under their own basket. Suffocating defense in the half court here by the Wildcats. Two point shot is no good. Re nice rebound there by Dembo. Fennis Dembo. And there'll be a jump ball here. They call that a jump ball. Possession arrow will be Wilmington. Again, anytime they get the ball down to the paint right now, um, Wildcats are collapsing and giving them absolutely no opportunity to score. Ducharme will bring the ball up with the Tavanis on the bench. See how kind of we can run the offense. Two minutes, 2.10 to play. Ducharme, again, got into traffic and probably not the most advised pass there, ill-advised as we would say. Tried to feed it down low through bodies. No, it doesn't always work that well. Get suffocating defense in the half court by uh, the Wildcats. Watertown has not been able to run any offense off this. A lot of dribbling. Not a lot of passing the ball to swing it. Four seconds left on the clock. Limbo will just throw up a bomb, and that'll be a no. Shot clock violation. Again, really phenomenal half court defense here by the Wildcats here in this third quarter. Timeout white. Just to give you a quick reset, 134 to play here in the third period. Wildcats with a 34 to 15 lead over the Watertown Raiders. Timeout by Coach Jessica Robinson. Try to set something up here, see if we can uh, increase this lead Not at 19 points. It was at eight points at halftime, 23-15. Cats have scored 11 points to the zero. The goose egg put up by Watertown here in the quarter mainly because of the half-court defense that the Wildcats have played. Done a really good job in forcing them out of what they're trying to do, Watertown, and Watertown's gonna to try to draw something up to get some offense generated. Wildcats been getting a lot of points in the paint here this quarter. I think all of them were, we had two free throws by Ducharme, everything else was a layup. Bond with, I think Gabby Bond had four, Tavanese with two, Ducharme with four. Or it's not 11, but it's close enough. Let's see how Coach Robinson comes out here. Wildcats will inbound the ball down the other end of the court. Morrison, Ducharme, Collins, Sweeney, and Wingate in the lineup on the floor for the Wildcats. Collins will find Ducharme who will run the point. It takes, actually takes her off the high and low block, she runs the point, but She'll back her in, throw the lefty runner up off the glass is good. Maybe that's why you want the ball in her hands because she's gonna be able to dribble, penetrate, and make that shot. 36-15, Wildcats, 21 point lead, 119 to play. See if defense can put the goose egg up here on Watertown for this quarter. Put here in a two, three zone and they'll match up as the ball swings. Just putting Ducharme, the size of Ducharme up top really has been wreaking havoc. Limbo finds, Ball out, that shot is good. First two points of the quarter for the Wild, for the uh, Raiders. Zewin in, number 14. Wilmington, 50 seconds to play, 24 in the shot clock. It'll be a travel, you gotta put the ball on the floor. Melissa Morrison caught it, stepped and didn't put the ball on the floor and good call for the travel. Ducharme's replaced by Morris, uh, excuse me, Tavanese. 
47 seconds to play here in third quarter. Wildcats 36, Raiders 20 to 17. Full court pressure again for the Cats, trying to turn it over. That's gonna be a travel as well. Picked up the pivot foot. 21 is uh, Brianna Williams, one of their captains. You can see it in the faces right now of the uh, Watertown uh, basketball team. They just just can't generate anything and frustration is showing. Tavanese, top of the key, 33 seconds playing game, 25 seconds on the shot clock. Let's see if they can work what they want to do here. Sweeney crossover drill, takes the ball to the hole, misses the layup. Breakaway here, so uh, Williams gonna go one on one, gets the bump, they're gonna call an offensive foul. College and then the pros, there'd be that little circle, half circle that she would've been in the zone, but here in high school we don't have that rule. Good defensive play, pick up the charge. Wildcats, 20 seconds left, shot clock is off. 36-17 lead, Tavanese will run the offense. See if they try to spread them out. Collins. Morrison just throws it away. Again, I, I would imagine coaches are gonna be happy with that, that offensive possession. 6.9 seconds to play, 36-17, Wildcats with the lead. Again, if they could force him to um, turn the ball over here, but Lenbo takes it all the way down the court. Shot is good. Not what you want to see at the end of the quarter. Very, very poor execution. That shot was good by uh, Monahan. Those two points give us the third quarter score of 36 to 19. We'll be back for the fourth quarter after this. Welcome back, quarter four. On a Wednesday night here in Wilmington. Wildcats with a 36 to 19 lead over the Raiders of Watertown. Fans are cheering for something here. Let's look at the floor. Babcock, Collins, the four seniors are back out there. So Babcock, Collins, Bond, and uh, Masterelli along with Tavanese to start the fourth quarter with a 36, 17 point lead, 36-19. Really good first seven minutes of the quarter defensively for the Wildcats. But the last minute they gave her the two easy buckets from some mistakes. That shot is missed. Knocked out of bounds by the Wildcats. Balls inbound under the Watertown basket. Feeds it out. It's just Compton, that ball is blocked. Nice play, good play by Master Early on the block. Tavanese will break, she got one on four. See if she pulls it back out. Smart point guard play, reset the offense. Tavanese will bring the ball back out as we come up on the 7.20 mark. 14 seconds on the clock. Babcock feeds Tavanese. Out to Masterelli. Bad pass into the lane to Bond. <coughs> Excuse me. Try to throw again, try to throw the ball into the lane like that's not a good idea. The boys did a lot tonight too. The ball is blocked by Bond out of bounds. Just reset that offense. Try to force a pass into Gabby Bond offensively and Watertown's got players all over the place. Timeout is called. Wildcats have the bonus. Foul situation, five on the Raiders. Four on the Wildcats. When you get to the seventh foul, you shoot one on one. When you get to the 10th foul, you shoot two. Well, catch 36-19 lead. That's what we are at the quarter. 6.59 to play, one minute in. Still a little bit sloppy play. Um, Coach Jessica Robinson puts her four graduating seniors out. Just to remind you, senior night was tonight. Gina Masterilli, Sarah Babcock, Gabby Bond, and Cassidy Collins. They were all out there with Janet Tevides. We'll see what we get drawn up here again, trying to settle it down, playing good, solid half-court defense. I can't see Watertown getting out and running and scoring on the break at all. So you keep stifling the half-court defense and life gets a lot easier. 
So Watertown will inbound the ball. Down 17. Underneath their own basket. Same group out there for the Wildcats. The four seniors and Jenna Tavity's running the point. Three, that's a three point shot is missed. Rebounded by Bond, she'll cover up. Tavity has a run the break. Run the point, set the offense up. See if we get the seniors to score. Again, will we can deliberately slowing the ball down. Finds Babcock, Babcock back to uh, Tavity. Tavity says Collins in the right wing. Collins dribbles eight seconds on the clock. Finds Babcock, tries again to throw the ball down low in the middle, not, not really the smartest play we can make. But I look to shoot there, get the ball and you get open. Watertown, Robinson, not Robinson. Williams, excuse me, taken away by Tavany. She's got Gabby Bond open, finds Collins on the wing and they'll reset. Masterelli will pull it back out. Tavanies, get it over here. Sarah Babcock back to Tavanies. Down low to Bond. Bond harassed. Throws it at five seconds of the clock. Collins with the three ball. That'll be off back room. Gabby Bond rebound misses the layup and will come back the other way. A really tough two minutes and 15 seconds here to start this fourth quarter. Still 36-19. Wildcats comfortably ahead. Three-point bomb is no good. Rebounded by Collins. Tavities are on the offense. She's got Bond open. Bond, a nice catch. She gets fouled in the act of shooting. Gabby Bond, 44, will go to the line, and she's got two shots. That'll be the 16th foul. The Raiders from here on out, Wildcats on fouls by Will, Will Watertown will go to the free throw line. Bond's first is good. Again, if there's one drawback here tonight, um, I would have to say that it's uh, free throw shooting for the Wildcats hasn't been that good. Cassie Collins is replaced by uh, Kylie Ducharme. Gabby Bond's second of two. Is also good. 38-19. 19 point lead. Fourth quarter, five minutes, 28 seconds to play. The press is still on. Trying to force turnovers here. Force them to speed up. I mean, the biggest move I think was putting uh, Kylie Ducharme with a big body up front. It's going to be called on a travel, and Watertown just not able to handle the pressure. The full court man pressure, and then they're also not able to handle the half court defense. So it's been a very sluggish 19 points for the Raiders. Tavanese gets the ball, just throws it away into the middle. Again, trying to get the ball to uh, Ducharme in the block, but not really what you want to see there. Corner three, Ortiz, in front of the rim, misses, rebound by Mastrelli. Finds Babcock out to Tavanese. Bond running the floor again. I give Gabby Bond a lot of credit. She's really running the floor hard. Ducharme gets it to Babcock. Babcock's three is just off front of the rim. Everybody wants the senior to score. 38 19, 446 to play. Wildcats half court defense has been stifling tonight. Three point shot from the corner for Ortiz is good. So Ortiz gets off to Schneid with the uh, Raiders. 22, first three points of the game, of the quarter rather. Mess really finds Babcock who finds Tavany. He's gonna drive the lane. This is nice play, Mess really from the bucket. Every time uh, Jenna Tavany drives the hole, good things are happening if we get the ball to one of the bigs down low. Press doesn't work and Ortiz finds corner jumpers a two. That's that, in and out, rebound up by Lundbo. They're gonna call a foul on the Wildcats down on the floor. And Wingate replaces Gabby Bond. 15 foul on the Wildcats, second foul on Ducharme. Get the ball down low, double. Forces the shot, they're gonna call the foul. Baylor out. Lembo didn't recognize, gotta recognize the double there. Wingate doubled down with Masterelli and they call the foul. I think going Wingate there, her second. 4.05 to play. I can't remember the last time that Watertown went to the free throw line. Two shots. Taylor Lembo's first shot is good. Lambo. And her 
your second shot. It is also true. Okay, cuts the lead to 16, four minutes to play. Wildcats need a bucket here. Dushom drives, finds Babcock out to Wingate. Masterilli finds Babcock down low, drives the lane, throws up the shot, it's wild. He's trying to get that last bucket here for the career here at home. Sarah Babcock. Three pointer for um, Ortiz is no good. Rebounded by the Wildcats. Tavanese will push. He's got a two uh, three on three. Really good set getting back on defense by the um, Raiders. Ducharme at the top. And the Wildcats just not sloppy. A lot of sloppy offense here in the fourth quarter. 40 24, 321 to play here in the quarter number four. Lambdo's shot is lost. Off the rim, rebounded by Wingate. Ducharme will try to set the offense up. Masterilli, off the glass and good. Shot is good. It's a timeout to um, sub in and out, I would think. And Masterilli, who scores, 42-24, will sit. Trying to get all the seniors at least a bucket. Olivia Alameda in the game, so let's reset here. We got Tavanese, Wingate, Almeida, Babcock, and Ducharme in the game. Press is still on. Wildcats well, try to turn him over here. Ortiz picks up a dribble at absolutely the wrong spot. Gets it back to Lembo. Three is Custis. Ortiz, 42-24, 2.50 to play. Ortiz will fire another three ball. That'll be in and out. Rebound by Ducharme, she'll cover up. Find her point guard, Tavanese. They're going to try to get some scoring here. No, if Tucker find a point guard, couldn't do it on her own. 2.38 to play. Wildcats with an 18-point lead. Hard dribble top against the Babcock. She'll roll to the hole. She'll get fouled. Oh, no foul. She'll cover up. That'll be a jump ball. They're trying to get a score here. Ball out of bounds side. That'll be a jump ball. It'll be Wilmington. Possession arrow, Wilmington. 2.26 to play. I think they're trying to get Sarah Babcock a bucket here in her senior day. Duchamp, they try to get the Kylie Duchamp ball batted out of bounds. Tavanese have trouble down low. Not a good place to put it. They get it to Babcock. The shot is up. Off glass, no good. The whole bench waiting for the score. That ball is knocked out of bounds. By Watertown. 2.15 to play, 42-24 Wildcats lead. She's gonna sub out here, but on offense, they're trying to get uh, three Sarah Babcock, at least points on senior night. Give the coach credit, really a tribute to her seniors. It's just a, a good message that you're sending to your team as well, that everyone is important no matter who they are. From the top player to the 12th player on the bench, everyone counts. There's Babcock for three ball. Oh. Seems like she's rushing it just a little bit. Watertown with a rebound. Now we're gonna get her, maybe get a sub here. Watertown just gonna play out the strike. Two minutes to play, Wildcats up 18. Good defense, really good suffocating. That was Almeida really switch out. Even up by 18, the Wildcat defense has been strong. Long three is rebounded by Ducharme. She'll bring the ball up the court. Oh, and she gets fouled. Not good. Garbage time play, you don't want anybody getting hurt. That'll be a team foul number. Seven or eight. And Sarah Babcock will get a hand if she gets replaced. Substituted by Alyssa Morrison. Kylie Dutron will go to the free throw line shooting the one on one. So the Wildcats will Move to 12 and five and hopefully get a little bit better seating in the tournament. This will drop the uh, that's first shot by Ducharme is good. It'll drop um, Watertown, or as on my notes, H2O Town. That'll drop, they'll drop to seven and 11. So we got substitutes in as the empties the bench. Madison Grace is in, Kayla Smith is in, and then for the shooter we're gonna have um, Jenna Sweeney. So if Ducharme makes this, we'll sub out. 
Complete bench play for the Wildcats. 142 to play. Opportunity for some of the other players to get a chance. Shot is good. The two Sharma were replaced by Jenna Sweeney. So just to give our Wildcat viewers a reset on who's on the floor, we've got Sweeney 14, Almeida 21, Madison Grace 11, Allison, Alyssa Morrison 12, and Kayla Smith 20. Ball kicked out of bounds. It will be Watertown ball, 44-24. We'll begin with a 20-point lead as we just run the clock out here in our second game of senior night. Boys were defeated by Watertown by a lot. Struggled a little bit with their athleticism. Girls here are gonna pay it back with a big win over the Watertown Raiders. Almeida run the point. Madison Grace from the wing, ball tipped away. 11 seconds o'clock. Grace finds 14 is Alice. Jenna Sweeney, excuse me, Sweeney with the layup is no good. Rebounded by Watertown and they'll push, that's Limbo. She's gonna take it all the way if she can. Oh, I, a no call there is knocked over is Almeida. The shot is up and good, it's a two for Custos. 45 seconds left, 44, 26. Wildcats up by 18 as we run down the final home game here, at least final regular season home game. Here for the Wilmington girls as they'll, like I said, advance to 12 and five, three games left. Tough game Friday night against Melrose and then in the tournament during school vacation week. So plenty of opportunity to improve, improve their record, try to get a better seating. A little hook shot there is no good. 18 seconds left. Watertown's gonna try to cut the lead there. They gotta call the offensive foul there. They let it go the first time. Got to call it the second time. Alice from Morse takes the, takes the beating twice there. One called, one not. 14 seconds left, Wildcats up by 18, and they'll just hold ball here. Red, red clock run out on a good victory. So we thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did watch the boys game, on tape, of course, you can see the boys and the girls. That ball's gonna be dribbled out of bounds. And at the clock. Final score here from the Cushing Auditorium, Cushing Gymnasium, Wilmington 44, Watertown 26. We thank you for joining. Thanks to Paul and Chris for help on the scoreboard and the, and the, and the, um, and the camera. This is Jim Boyle. We'll see you down the road in the playoffs, both boys and girls. Thank you for joining us.